Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to today's video. If you're not aware already, I've started playing Summertime Saga again with a focus toward my Patreon supporters. That way I can keep all of the spicy content intact and, uh, you know, have a, a fuller game experience and a fuller gameplay slash playthrough experience, if you will. During the process of starting that back up, I also thought it'd be a good idea to bring everyone um, a walkthrough format of Summertime Saga. I haven't done that yet, and I'm sure there's probably plenty of them out there. However, I wanted to bring my style of recording and gameplay to the walkthrough experience. So that's what I'm going to do as well. So this right here is my first walkthrough video for Summertime Saga. We're going to go over the prologue in this one. If you guys like this and you want to see more of this type of content where I provide a good broken down walkthrough, let me know. I'll do more. But we're going to start with Summertime Saga. Um, we're going to get this game knocked out and then we'll go from there. I hope you all enjoy. If you do, make sure you let me know by smacking the like button, subscribing to the channel. And uh, let, you know what? Let's go ahead and get into the prologue. March 3rd, on a rainy afternoon, my father's funeral. I can't believe he's really gone. He died from a work-related accident at the age of 40, leaving me all alone with no family to speak of. Circumstances surrounding his death had been found suspicious by the police. They were at our house for an entire week, bombarding me with questions to which I had no answers. No conclusive evidence had been found, and the knowledge that my father will get no justice weighs heavily upon me. Luckily, my father's lifelong friend has taken me in and given me a room in her home. She's a kind woman with a big home and only her daughter living with her. The night of the funeral, I overheard her reminiscing about my father in the kitchen. She eventually broke down and said she didn't know what to do. It seems my father had gotten involved with some real bad people who were now pressuring her to cover his debts. Now, months later, things are finally starting to settle down. I've gotten used to my new living arrangement and today will be my first day back at college. It'll be nice to see my friends again. There are three things I have to take care of before the end of the semester. One, I need to earn some money to help pay off my father's debts. Two, I have to uncover the truth about my father's murder. And three, I have to find a date for the sorority ball. All right, oh, I hate getting up early. No text messages from Eric. Maybe he's still sleeping. I'll stop by his house on the way to school. I'm gonna grab these cookies. They were here the first time I played. I have no clue what they're for. But, uh, you know, I, just in case I get hungry, we'll have them. Now, uh, let's just go out in the hallway. Oh, uh... Hey! Save it, loser. Jeez, what's your problem? <laughs> what do you think my problem is? Stuck here, living with you. But yeah, whatever. Shouldn't you be at school or something? Shouldn't you be out looking for a job? Oh, you do not want to play this game with me, smartass. Hey, you're the one who started it. What are you making that face for? Something smells really good. Uh, yeah, it's the breakfast that's been waiting for you downstairs, dummy. I can't believe mom's still making you breakfast every day. It's been over a month since your dad died. Yeah, well, maybe she likes doing it. She's a nice lady. Ugh, yeah. She's too nice, if you ask me. Wonder what crawled up her butt. I should get downstairs and see what smells so delicious. Alright, we'll leave her name is Ginny. And there's no reason to change it. Now we're gonna go and talk to Debbie. I'm actually gonna grab that key as well. Never seen this key before. It's rather small. So we're going to actually go talk to Debbie. She should probably be in the kitchen. There she is. Good morning, sweetie. I made you some breakfast. I thought you might like something special for your first day back at school. Thanks, Debbie, uh, but I'm not sure I have time. You sure? I made your favorite. Happy face pancakes with three strips of bacon. Oh, man. Um, ooh, no, nah, I really shouldn't. I think Eric overslept again, and I don't want to be late on my first day back. <laughs> again, huh? Well, I guess you better get a move on then. Yeah, thanks anyway, Debbie. I would not, I would not pass up some pancakes and bacon. 
My pleasure, sweet. Oh, wait. Hmm? I nearly forgot. I spoke with my friend Diane yesterday, and she mentioned that she could use some help in her garden. She asked if you might be willing. What? I don't know anything about gardening, Debbie. Oh, come on, it's easy. Diane will teach you. And if you do a good job, she'll pay you as well. It could be a good way to earn a little extra money for college, don't you think? Yeah, I guess. I'll swing by her place after school today. Atta boy. I know these last few weeks have been hard. But your father would want you to carry on, you know? You'll get through this. I promise things will get better. Yeah, I, I know. Thanks, Debbie. Chin up, sweetie. I'm here for you. And we'll leave her as Debbie. I mean, I've already been talking to her as Debbie. No, no sense in changing it now. All right, we've unlocked Eric's house. Now I think I can go outside. I, get, I probably got, actually got to go outside. Okay, now that the map is unlocked. Eric's house should be right next door. Hey, Eric. Hey, Thomas. You look really tired. You all right? Well, I was on the computer all night playing this new game that came out. And I just hate going to school. I wish I could just stay home all the time. Yeah, I hear you. Sorry to hear about your dad, by the way. How are you holding up? I'll be all right, man. Thanks for asking. We should really get going before we're late for class. School's unlocked, so I think we actually need to get to school. So let's go there. Hey, Mia. Hey, Thomas. Glad to see you're back. Hi, Eric. How was your weekend? I mostly stayed in my room. That's cool. Sometimes I like alone time, too. What about you, Thomas? What have you been up to? Well, I'm not sure if you heard or not, but my dad passed away, so I've been dealing with that. Oh, yeah. I heard from my mom. I didn't mean to bring it up. I I'm sorry you had to go through that. I'm just glad you're finally back. Thanks. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Listen, I was looking for someone to help me get ready for the final exam, so if you're interested, let me know. Uh, sure, I guess. Where do you want to meet? The library? Um, I have to ask my parents first. They probably won't let me, though. I'm not really allowed to stay late after school or see friends outside of my house. Really? That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it'd be easier if you just came over to my house to study. You know where I live, so just drop by whenever you want. I'd better get going. Science class is starting soon. Professor Okita said today's laboratory experiment will be challenging. That means it's probably going to take the entire hour to complete. Oh, don't remind me. Talk to you later, guys. All right, I've unlocked uh, Mia's house. So there we go. I don't know when we'll use that, but I'm sure it will happen. We all know it will happen. Just uh, don't know when exactly. So then Becca threw her retainer in the toilet. <laughs> uh, what are you two losers looking at? I think we're looking at the combined IQ of two. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, I don't get it. They're calling us stupid. They are? Hey, you calling us stupid? I, um, I, no, I, I didn't, I, I mean, I wouldn't. Cause I'll smash your face in, you little shit. And what are you laughing at? Didn't your deadbeat loser of a father kill himself or something? Oh, at least I had a father growing up and I don't live in a trailer. Oh, ow. You're dead. Dexter, get him. Hold up, Roxy. Miss Smith is coming. If I get caught fighting again, Coach Bridget said she'll kick me off the team. Psst, fine. This isn't over, Thomas. I'll deal with you later. You two, get over here. Right now. What are you still doing in the damn hallway? Sorry, Miss Smith. We were just... Oh, Thomas. Finally returned to us, I see. Y yes, ma'am. Well, it's about time. Do you have any idea how far your grades have fallen? They have? Well, that doesn't seem fair. Don't you know what that is, Dan? That's quite enough, young man. I suggest that you get your butt to class before you find it sitting in detention. And as for you, Thomas, we need to discuss your failing grades. I want you upstairs in my office right away. Yes, Miss Smith. Man, she's pure evil. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. She's like the evil ice queen from Horcraft. Well, I better get up to her office before her mood worsens. Good luck, dude. Thanks. Oh, shoot, I almost forgot. I slipped a little welcome back present into your locker. Really? Glad to have you back, dude. 
Thanks, Eric. Hmm. You know, I don't remember my locker combination. You didn't write it down? No, but I guess I should have, huh? You're probably going to have to talk to Miss Smith about it. Uh, you're probably right. I'll see you later, Eric. Yep, see you, Thomas. All right, we've unlocked the basketball court. I don't know if I need that right away. I think I need to go talk to Miss Smith. Whoa, Thomas. When did you get back? Oh, hey, Kevin. Today's my first day. Right on, bro. Good to see you. Sorry about your dad, by the way. Yeah, thanks. What's with the apron? Oh, Miss Smith put me on cafeteria duty until I raised my grade in Miss Akina's class. You're failing science? Well, I'm not failing it, but it definitely isn't looking good, bro. Oh, that sucks, man. Tell me about it. I haven't had a good workout in weeks. Oh, yeah? Still hanging out down at the gym? You know it, bro. I can't let these guns go unpolished, can I? <laughs> no, I guess not. Oh, that reminds me. We got this new Muay Thai teacher there. His name is Master Samrock. He's like a grand master or something with all his ancient teachings. He's pretty awesome. Muay Thai? Yeah, bro. You know, I, I like kickboxing and stuff. Really? You should go there and check it out. Oh, I don't know. Come on, bro. You gotta get that body in shape. The people demand beefcake, not sweet cake. Eh, I guess I could check it out. That's the spirit, bro. Who knows, you might even be able to whoop Dexter's ass once you've got a few classes under your belt. <laughs> yeah, right. I should get going, man. Miss Smith is waiting for me upstairs in her office. Oh, shit, bro. I, I didn't know that. You better hurry on then before you end up in the cafeteria with me. I see you, Kevin. Come by the cafeteria later. We can hang. All right. All right. Now the gym's unlocked. We're just, unlo we're just unlocking all the locations. But I need to go up to the principal's office. Here she is. You wanted to see me, Miss Smith? Indeed, Thomas. We need to discuss your grades and whether or not you intend to graduate. Is it really that bad? Have a look yourself. All oh, ease. Oh, no. I don't even know what that means. That means excellent. Oh, man. I'm failing everything? I told you. Well, that's what happens when you skip school for a month. I, I wasn't skipping. My dad died. Be silent, Annie. I'm sorry, ma'am. Regardless of the circumstances, you need to find a way to raise your grades if you don't want to repeat next year. I'd suggest speaking to your teachers about making up the work you've missed. Perhaps they can come up with some extra credit assignments or something. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Do whatever it takes. Yes, ma'am. Good, now get to class. Actually, ma'am. Yes. I forgot the combination to my locker. Can you help me get it open? Oh, what do you mean you forgot? Everyone was told at the beginning of the school year to write down their combinations. I, um, I lost it. Typical. That's very disappointing, Thomas. We'll have to get you a new lock. I'll send Annie down with her master key momentarily. I suggest you get everything that you need out now. It could be a while before the new lock arrives. Uh, yes, ma'am. Head there now and get your butt to class after you're finished. Okay, we are going downstairs. Back to the hallway, back downstairs. Let's go, let's go. Do not... Oh, there's my locker right there. The one that says dead dad on it. <laughs> oh, not subtle at all, these students, are they? They're such pranksters. All right, let's get this over with. Wow, so that key opens everybody's locker? Psst, this key opens every lock and door in the school. For real? Duh, that's why it's called a master key. How come you get it? Um, because I bust my ass every day helping Miss Smith keep all you kids in line. Kids? We're the same age. Yeah, right. Everyone around here is so immature. So you just have the master key with you all the time? Of course not. Miss Smith keeps it in her office, but we, like, never have to use it. Never? Nobody else is dumb enough to lose their locker combination. Hurry up and grab what you need. We're gonna be late for our athletics class. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, um, 
This training card, Dylan. Okay, whatever. What is this? Oh, that's my failing grades. And then we have. Oh, Deb, such a sweetie. The to do list. All right. So I wonder if this is people that I've done. Why? Why is Kevin on there? I, you know, I've asked that question before, but I do want to know why is Kevin on there? Is there going to be an option to be able to do Kevin at some point in this uh, game? Be pretty interesting. All right, so we got it. Hmm. So Mrs. Smith has a master key in her office somewhere. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. That would be a useful thing to have. Something to think about. Yes. Yes, indeed. For now, I should head to the boys' locker room and get changed for athletics class. All right, the boys' locker room is this way. Oh, hey, Judith. Is everything all right? Oh, hey, Thomas. I'm just not feeling too well. I might just go home. Oh, you're not coming to athletics class? Well, I just... I can't go in the boys' locker room. The boys' locker room? Why would you need to go in the boys' locker room? You mean no one told you? No. A pipe burst in the girls' locker room and it's closed for repairs. We're sharing the boys' locker room for now. For real? I don't really feel comfortable about it like the other girls. Well, the class is starting soon, so there's probably not many people left in there anyway. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can go in there with you to make sure you're okay. And I won't look. Okay, I'll follow you then. All right, we're going to the boys' locker room with her. See? It's not too bad. There's only a few people in here. I hope you remember the rules in regards to being late. If you're not in uniform and in the courtyard in one minute... It's okay, Annie. We get it. We'll be outside in just a moment. As a student union president and official hallway monitor... It is my duty to write infractions to anyone breaking the guidelines. Look, Judith is not very comfortable in the guy's locker room. She's going to need some extra time to get ready, okay? Is that right, Judith? Well, yes. What's the matter? Just a little bit insecure about the boys? Or are you inciting disorder and disobeying the rules? It's not... It's just that... I'm not wearing a oh. oh, I see. Coming up with excuses to skip class, are we? Your lack of obedience is alarming, and I will not allow it. Get dressed immediately, or I'm sending you both to detention. Days low ways. Okie dokie. Here we are. Oh, Thomas like, whoa is going on here he gets back from one month away from school and things have changed a lot don't mind him uh oh my this what oh she just noticed thomas this is improper and shameful i'm so sorry. Put your uniforms on and get your ass to class now. I will have to report this incident to Mrs. Smith along with your infractions for being late. Okay, she had to like tuck that thing in there. Did you see that? <laughs> now move it. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess, um, uh, what, do we go out into the hall now? Or can I go other places? I should get to the field for my athletics class. I was trying to go in the shower room. I can't do that. All right. So um, I guess we're going out to the field. Probably this way. Oh. Well, look who decided to... I don't know how to do Coach Bridget's voice. Well, look who decided to show up. Hey, Coach Bridget. I know I missed a few training sessions, but I assure you that I will be ready for regional athletics try... Shut up, you maggot. You are one month behind everyone else, Thomas, and I'm not going to let you drag down the team with your lack of commitment. 
it's like every like nobody knows that his dad was dead or they just don't care and um you know they just don't care if you can't make the qualifying scores you can forget about your credits and graduating this year don't worry ma'am i'm sure the qualifiers will be no problem oh yeah why don't you show us your athletic skills by doing 20 push-ups right now you pathetic twerp but oh nah. one uh two uh, i can't oh my god he couldn't even do three what is that all you got you can't even do three miserable push-ups i i'm s i'm sorry ma'am you better get your ass to the local gym now and start lifting if you want to pass this class. Just stick to Miss Bizet's class where hard work and good grades don't matter. Now get out of my sight. You're never going to make it past the qualifiers. Why do you even bother coming to this class? I could still make it. And you know what? I was thinking, maybe you could help me turn... Hold it right there. If by some miracle you manage to make the trials... Then come talk to me. Otherwise, you could stop wasting your breath. Oh, okay. But when I do, you'll have to show me some of your tricks. I'll be at the swimming pool for the next two weeks, training for the 200 meter trials. If you make the team, then come see me. Deal. Oh, pathetic. She's not even going to shake my hand. But we got the pool unlocked, so it is what it is. All right, I think we're done here. Now let's go to Miss Pizzay's class. Hang out with her for a little bit. All right. There you are. Hey, Miss Pizzay. Listen, Thomas. I know you've had some personal matters to take care of, and that's why you've been absent lately. But is everything okay? At least she's being nice. Yeah, I think I should be okay. You're not the only one a bit behind, you know. It's definitely the hardest class we have, I think. Well, if you ever need anything, let me know. Thanks, Miss Fizet. Oh, that reminds me. I'm implementing a new learning opportunity for those trying to catch up. Oh, yeah? It'll be a little bit more one-on-one uh, -on -one type of learning. And I'm hoping it will energize students. I see. Why don't you take your seat and I'll discuss it in front of the class? Okay. Ms. Bizet had an announcement that day. She planned on rewarding the student who showed the most improvement in class after the final quiz. She even offered private tutoring to anyone that was interested. I spent the whole day trying to catch up on my studies. Until the bell rang. I forgot how much French class makes me sleepy. It was a struggle to focus on the lesson. But I can always count on my classmates to keep me awake. They've been picking on me lately. Probably because I just came back and now I'm the center of attention. Don't get me wrong, though. I can stand my ground. <laughs> but I guess this is just how school goes. Well, at least the day is over and I can go home now. Oh, and, and before you all leave, any students interested in after-school tutoring sessions, come talk to me in my office or tomorrow in class. Au revoir. All right. I've unlocked the library. I'm assuming I'm going to have to study there. Hey, welcome back. Hey, Eve. Wow, I really like your new hair color. Yeah, I was a little worried I couldn't pull it off. Oh, you can definitely pull it off. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. Sorry to hear about your dad. I know it's rough. Yeah. If you ever need to talk or something. Nah, it's really nice of you to offer, but I'm okay. I'm just trying not to think about it. Focus on getting back into the swing of things, you know? Yeah, believe me, Thomas. I get it. You know, sometimes when I'm feeling down or whatever, I take my drawing pad and sit by this big fountain over at the park. Oh yeah? It's so peaceful there, especially in the evenings. Sounds nice. It is. You should come check it out sometime. All right, maybe I will. Cool. So are you gonna take Miss Bizet up on her private lessons? Private lessons? Yeah, the one she was talking about at the start of class. Weren't you paying attention? <laughs> I might have dozed off a bit. <laughs> really? Yeah, most of these classes put me to sleep, but don't you have one of the highest GPAs in school? <laughs> yeah, sort of. How do you manage that? Oh, I, I don't know. Just lucky, I guess. What? That's crazy. No, I'm serious. I've always just been really good at school. 
It's like a gift or something. I can't really explain it. Well, it's quite a gift. Yeah, I guess. I can curl my tongue. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> That's really my only gift. I'll trade you. Uh, mm, tempting, but no. Dang. Seriously, Thomas, if you ever need to pick me up, come see me at the park. Bring that sense of humor with you. Yeah, okay. The park in the evening, huh? Yep. I should get going. Miss Ross had some art projects she wanted to talk to me about. All right. Later, Thomas. See ya. All right, now the park is unlocked. Okay, now who can I talk to? I should probably talk to Miss Bizet about the private tutoring. I can't understand any of the material in class. I think I'm too far behind to catch up on my own. A little bit of extra help never hurt anybody. And I may get that reward if I do well in the final quiz. Okay, Thomas. Oh, hey. How was your first day back at school? Uh, I don't even want to talk about it. I see. What are you up to now? Well, I told Debbie that I'd visit her friend Diane. She's going to pay me to do some work for her. Man, I wish I had a job. A job where I could just sit at my computer playing games all day. <laughs> oh, speaking of computers, mine is definitely broken. I think I need to replace some parts in it or something. You know any good stores where I could buy some? Hmm, I usually shop for parts at Consumer in the mall. They sell a lot of things for a reasonable price. All right, I'll check it out. See you later. All right, now Diane's house is open. Is the mall? The mall's not open yet, but Diane's place is available. Diane's house is this one right here. You see it highlighting? I should probably turn my mouse on, but you should see it. We're going to click on that. We're going to go and, and see what she needs. And she is probably in the backyard, so I'm going to click on her little um, shed back here. I didn't know the first thing about gardening, but it was nice to see Diane. I always liked her when I was a kid. There she is in all her glory. She was just a fun person to be around. Kind-hearted and supportive, a great sense of humor, and full of warmth. I really hope I don't disappoint her. Well, there's a handsome young man. You've grown so much, I hardly recognize you at the funeral. <laughs> Hi, Diane. Wow, you look so much like Debbie. Oh, come now, I'm not nearly as pretty as Debbie. Well, I think you look great, Diane. Now, I'm pretty sure... Debbie and Diane might be sisters, even though we're never going to get that connection. They're either sisters or the developer just has a good sense of humor and isn't making fun of the fact that some of the characters look alike. You can make your own assumptions. Anyway, back to Diane here. Oh, aren't you just a little charmer? You here to do some work for me? I'm guessing Debbie told you that I'm looking for someone to help me this summer. Yeah, she told me to come see you. I could definitely use the money for tuition. Wonderful. I was hoping to get you started today, but I'm afraid I ran into a problem. Oh. Huh. My old shovel finally quit on me. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty bad. Well, we may have to wait until I can replace it. I'm sorry, Thomas. Uh, it's okay, Diane. Is there any way we can continue to work without it? Well, we can't really dig up a garden without a shovel, can we? I'll just have to pick up a new one next time I'm at the store. Unless. Unless. You wouldn't happen to have one at home? Hmm. We might have a shovel in our garage. I'll go check and come back if I find something. Oh, that would be great. Come on back if you find one and we'll get started. All right, this is too easy. So I'm going to go back, go to the map, go home. Because that's where we need to go. We definitely have a shovel in here. One thing I like about the game is that whatever month you're playing in, um, it, it seems like we've got, you know, we've got an aesthetic, you know, it's October right now and that I'm making this video. So we've got our Halloween aesthetic going on. We've decorated for Halloween outside. Anyway, we got to go into the garage. Our shovel's hanging right here. I'm going to grab that. Yeah, this should work. It'll be nice to have some money for a change. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Oh, what are you doing with that shovel? Uh, huh? Uh, oh, I'm taking it to Diane's house. I'm going to be working for her this summer. Diane gave you a job? She's never offered me any work. Well, it's physical labor in her garden. She probably just assumed you wouldn't be interested. Ugh, 
In this heat? Yeah, no way. Screw that. So what are you doing in the garage? You never come out here. I need some batteries. Don't we still have some out here? Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Um, try that box on the bottom shelf over there. Ah. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. What's going on? Oh, hello. Holy crap. What do you need that many for? None of your business, loser. Just take your shovel and beat it. Whatever. Have fun busting your ass for Diane. <laughs> All right, she is such a bitch. All right, well, I've got the shovel for Diane now. Time to head back to her place and start gardening. Let's go. Shovel and backpack. Someday we're going to figure out the mystery of that magical backpack that fits everything. Anyway, going back, hitting the map again, going back to Diane's house, hitting the shed, and, hmm, pulling this bad boy out of this, like I said, bottomless backpack. Here it is. Oh, wonderful. See, you've been a big help already. All right, before you start, I'll have to show you what to do. Make sure you only keep vegetables that are long and hard. Take out everything else, especially those pesky rats and bugs. Got it? Got it. You should really take all the money I'm paying you to the bank, too, when you're done. That's your decision, though. Um, sure, I guess I could do that. All right, handsome, let's get to work. What a nice lady. All right, gardening. This is a mini game, all right? So we've unlocked a mini game. We're going to learn how to do it. It's pretty simple, though. So uh, we're just going to click on the garden itself and click clean the garden. Really easy. Just keep the long and hard stuff. Anything that's not long and hard, get rid of it. Boom. And I get paid for everything that I get rid of. That, that easy. So simple. Diane went to lie down as I began digging up her garden. It was so hot outside and there were so many weeds and bugs. I gripped my teeth and I set myself to the task. I hope she's planning to pay me well for all this physical labor. As I worked, I noticed Diane was watching me intently. I suppose she was just trying to make sure I did a good job. We exchanged a few words here and there, but mostly just small talk. Her eyes seemed fixed upon me. That doesn't look like she's trying to make sure you're doing a good job. Let's try... She's... You know, contemplating whether you'd be a good job. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. All right. Oh, wow. My garden looks absolutely gorgeous, Thomas. Yeah, I had to get rid of a lot of stuff. Just look at that big, hard cucumber. Okay, I mean, why do you only want vegetables that are long and hard? I, uh, well, yeah, you see, they, um... Do they sell better or something? Uh, yes, exact. that's exactly it. They sell better. Hmm, interesting. I guess I have a lot to learn about vegetables. Well, don't you worry, Thomas. I can teach you everything there is to know about gardening. How did you get into this stuff anyways? Oh, I've always had a bit of a green thumb, even when I was a kid. Really? You betcha. You know, I used to dream about owning a farm of my own. Like, a for real farm? With fields of crops and animals? That's right. I wanted the whole nine yards. You should totally do that, Diane. I'd help you. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks, Thomas. I'm afraid it's not as easy as all that. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Thanks for your help today. Why don't you come back tomorrow and we'll continue where we left off. All right, I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye, handsome. All right. Ooh, gardening is hard work. I'm exhausted. I should head home and get some sleep. All right, I made 80 bucks, which, you know, I guess for what I assume is a simple task, that's not, that's not bad money. That's pretty good. All right, so basically any money that I make can be banked or spent around Somerville. Um, but it's too late to go to the bank right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back home. Got to click the back button again here at the bottom, and then I can hit the map. And uh, back home. All right. No, I'm not going to pay you. Is that Debbie? I don't even know who you are. Uh, that's ridiculous. He worked for the bank. She's talking about Dad. None of this makes any sense. Okay, I should see what's going on. 
All right, she is talking on the phone, I assume in the kitchen. Okay, yep, I am right. No, I've told you already. I don't know anything about any money. Hmm. That's right. I had no idea he was involved in any of this. Hmm. What? Y you can't. I don't have it. Don't you threaten me. Oh, shit. Okay. Some someone's threatening her? I don't have to listen to this. I'm hanging up now. Don't call back here again. Just leave us alone. Oh, man. Okay. Debbie? Hmm. Oh, hey there, sweetie. What was that all about? Oh, it's nothing. Are you sure? It sounded pretty bad. Just some people making a bunch of nonsense. Did dad owe people money or something? Because I can find a job and... No, no, don't be silly. You need to focus on school and save your money for tuition. Debbie, seriously, I, I want to help. I'm old enough. You don't have to carry the burden all on your own. Oh, sweetie. You're such a wonderful boy. There's nothing for you to worry about, okay? Just a simple misunderstanding. I promise. Uh, okay. Did you go see Diana about that gardening work, like I told you? Yeah, I went by to see her after school. And how was it? Um, it was okay. Her garden is quite a bit bigger than I expected. <laughs> I can imagine. It was a lot of work. I'm pretty exhausted. Oh, you poor thing. Do you want me to fix you something to eat? Nah, that's okay. I think I'm just going to go to bed. All right. Sweet dreams. Good night, Debbie. Hmm. Debbie said there's nothing to worry about, but she's just putting on a brave face. I can tell. I wonder who it was on the other end of the phone. I've got a bad feeling about this. All right. Now we just, uh, we, we can go to bed because that's pretty much everything we can do for the, for this day. So it's time to go night night. All right. Good morning, everybody. Ah, oh, got some good rest. And, uh, you know, it's probably a school day. What day is it actually? Hmm. What should I do today? Oh, and um, we have a lot more map locations open up. The mall. We're definitely going to need that. The beach. That's going to come in handy later. The tree house. Like all these places, they do have a purpose in this game. And we'll get to it in due time. Anyway, okay. So we got a quite a few map locations. And that is going to go ahead and wrap things up for the prologue and this video. So in the next video, we're going to start getting into the main storyline and we'll just go from there. Like I said in the beginning, I hope you enjoy this. I hope it's content that's actually helpful and informative. And if you want to see more, you know what to do. Smack the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you do want to see the Patreon content without any cuts or you know at least with all the good spicy stuff in it you also know where to go for that as well just check out the link tree everything you need is right there and that's all i got take it easy have a good one bye bye